morning mga katap spot guns. Ngayon pag-uusapan natin ang bago naming pistol, system defense. Uh, yeah. So, gagawa dapat kami ng unboxing video, pero ito kasi na-unbox na talaga namin and na, na, actually naputok na namin. But we want to show you ano ba ang itsura ng baril na ito when you get it off the box. So, una, pag-usapan natin, ito, meron siyang magandang box. Very easy na buksan. And pag binuksan natin, ito ang ating mangkita. So, meron siyang kasamang holster, ambidextrous, so pwede mo siyang pagbalik ta rin. Inside holster siya, pwede mo din siyang gawing outside holster. May isa ng magazine, ayan yung logo ng system defense. Pusan natin. Ah, ito na lang. Ito. Actual na magazine. Meron na siyang indicator. Pag full, 15 rounds. Backstrap. Meron siyang backstrap. Extra. Kung gusto nyo mas malaking backstrap. Lubricating oil. Dalawang uh, panlinis. Isa soft bristles. Which yung normal na gagamitin nyo. Isang harder one kapag medyo matagal-tagal na hindi nalinisan. Ito ang ating uh, manual. So, magbasa nyo sa harapan. Aka Turkish siya. Pero, meron dito English version. Now you safe. Yan ang ano nila. Ang uh, logo na, ay, ang slogan ng system defense. So, sa our papers. Tapos, meron tayong cleaning cloth na kasama dito. Ah, nag-flag. Hey. So, ngayon, pag-usapan natin mga barel. Ang barel na ito, ang ating titignan kanina ay ang basic na system defense C9. May lang natin. Come down. Okay. So, ano ang mga features niya? Ito, meron na siyang front serration. Magandang spacing ng serration niya. Pwede mo ikasama na sa harap. Pwede sa likod. Meron siyang memory rest para sa index nyo. And sa kabilang side, para sa thumb. So, it's on the same area. Very friendly even if lefty ka, righty ka, it doesn't make a difference. That's white dot sights. Uh, white dot sights. Uh, of course, yung backstrap, meron tayong, uh, what do you call this, parang at uh, pamparaf ng edges niya para pag hinawakan mo. The profile, it's very slim. Actually, because of uh, its slimness, and then yung kamay ko pag pinapawisa, minsan nag-loose grip ako, but I think it's okay. Kasi, pag nilagyan mo to ng mga hook grip or any grips to help improve yung, yung performance mo, magiging saktong-sakto lang siya. Ngayon, itong profile na to is perfect pag concealed carry. So, on that note, let's talk about yung concealed carry niya. Ito ang itsura niya pagka naka-inside holster ka. So, shoot mo lang siya dito. Sa belt mo. And, yeah. So, of course, depende sa damit mo, sa mo ilolocate, ilalagay, it can produce less printing. Pero, pag sa quick draw, walang problema. Pwede mo siya ipasok ulit. And you're done. Ngayon, kagaya na banggit ko kanina, ito yung holster niya. Kahit dex na siya, and then maganda yung cut niya. It's perfectly cut kung maglalagay ka ng RMR sights or red dot. Tapos ito din, ambi siya, all you have to do is to remove the screws, as well as yung nandito sa loob niya, lipat lang dito sa kabila. So, pwede na siya maging inside holster para sa kaliwete. Or, in this case, pwede din siya outside. So, no problem doon. Gusto mong i-adjust, tighten, loosen. Ito ang, uh, ito ang iyong pipihitin. 
So it comes, it's somewhere in the box, pero it comes with an alentina. Ngayon, I'll just put, it, put this back. Uh, Pag-usapan natin, ito kasi C9 na basic. Ano yung mga features pa na iba kung gusto nyo upgrades? So, meron tayong automatic na upgrade na ng slide. Mas maganda tingnan, mas maporma. Meron tayong tinatawag na, kung titingnan natin, ito ay ang hammer model. So, ito ang itsura niya. So, kung ganyan yung look na mas gusto nyo, mas okay siya. Um, we're yet to try this sa range. So, after that, uh, you know, maghahanap tayo ng pwedeng mag-review outside our company. Ano yung tingin nila sa barrel na yun? Um, this one naman, ang, ito naman ang itsura ng ating Razor model para sa C9. So, pagtabi natin sila, makita nyo, they're pretty much the same. Ang naiba lang would be kung ganong kalaki yung kanilang holes pagdating dito. Which helps, I think, pagdating sa recoil niya. So, later on, sabi ko nga, we'll get someone para mag-review. Uh, mahirap kasi pag ako mismo nagre-review. So, now, um, break tayo sa C9. This is the basic C9. Kung gusto nyo ng... Meron siyang RMR na. Meron din kami noon. Ito siya. So, look. Parehong-pareho siya. But this one, meron ng abang para sa RMR. If you put in yung holster, okay na okay ang spacing niya. Now, kung gusto niyo ng may RMR, and then uh, threading, barrel threading, there's also an option for that. Ito siya. So, may RMR siya, may threading. But do take note na ang threading nito is made of... Uh, yung, yung style nito is from system defense. Meaning, in some European countries kasi, yung threading niya, binaliktad. So, ang ating clockwise, yun ang pang -lucid. The reason for this is, kapag ka pumuputok ka, you always have to be aware, especially if may suppressor ka, kung kamusta na yung threading mo. So, kapag ka ang ang loosening niya is, uh, you know, um, yung other way, I'll show you, uh, I have a barrel here. Ito yung itsura ng normal na threading sa atin. So, to loosen it, it's counterclockwise. Sometimes, pag pumuputok ka, the tendency is gumaganyan siya. That's why when you shoot with suppressor, you should always check Nasa na? Kamusta na yung threading mo? Is it tight? Tapos eventually, maglulusin siya. Hindi mo ma-notice, you know, madidisgrasya yung, yung firearm mo or yung, yung, yung suppressor mo. Pero dito, um, it was built this way ayon sa mga gunsmith na kilala ko. Special mention na din to, to uh, Cookie. Cookie from Glockworks, also known as the Glock Doctor for pointing this out sa akin. This one, the premise is supposedly the more you shoot, the tighter it gets. So, yun ang ano niya. Yun ang, yun ang premise niya. You still have to check. You know? Always, safety is always first pagdating sa range. But, yun yung premise niya. So, yeah. Clockwise, to loosen it up. Counterclockwise, to tighten it up. Traditional is counterclockwise ang loosening. Clockwise ang tightening. So, this is, uh, you know, you got this from someone. Ito daw yung local, paano yung ginagawa na threading. If you compare, malayo yung difference niya. Maganda yung grade. Now, for the price of the gun, I think, you know, it's very cheap right now. Actually, until end of this year, end of 2021, we we're, we're extending yung aming anniversary sale. And we're also holding... Uh, together with the other partners, other partner stores in Makati Cinema Square, an uh, LTOF caravan. Thank you, FEO, for allowing us to conduct that. And, yun nga, in honor of that, you know, next year, magaganban na, last bang bang, um, where everyone is, you know, doing a year-end sale on that period. So, do visit doon. Um, okay. So, what else should we talk about sa... Barrel, okay. So, you see here, may mga ammo tayo. 
these are the ammo we use at the range the other day. I don't know if lumabas na yung video na yun, but we used Fiochi, we used Magtech, walang problema. We used Talisman, walang problema. We also used some minor combat loads. Makita nyo, ito yung itsura niya. Teflon. Wala ding naging problem. So, gun itself, uh, very good para sa akin yung functionality niya. You know, um, the trigger, kanina na naturo ko, it's already um, maganda, maganda yung travel niya. At uh, the same time, if ever, um, you know, you get this gun, what we would recommend is before, you know, settling sa ammo ninyo, ammunition ninyo, you do a break-in period ng 200 rounds. So, we use, do sa break-in period, um, cold ammunition and mag tech, walang problema. Um, just off, you know, the factory, any gun, you know, sometimes nag-dry up na yung factory oil nila, so it would be better, you know, lubricate the moving parts. I'll show you what it looks like inside. So, it's just a quick disassembly. So, very familiar ang inside. Dami sa atin nakakita na nito, but you just put, you know, drops here kung saan dumadaan yung, yung uh, slide and frame. Maybe put a few drops here, you know, if you don't want yung mga scratches masyado. Then maybe some drops here. And then, you know, just put it back. Tapos, of course, um, aside from that, the, the spring is actually built talaga para sa heavy load. So, what we would suggest is, you know, um, just try to move it para yung lubricating parts. Uh, ay yung, yung lubrication umikot sa parts. And then, when you shoot it, you know, when, when you use the, 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 the good ammo, it will help loosen everything up. And after that, you know, after that breaking period, Everything should be fine. You can use any 9mm ammunition you have. Of course, not everything. Kasi, you know, minsan may mga pilosopo na maglalagay na halos na load. But, you know, all factory ammo, combat reloads, even, uh, you know, government arsenal ammo works fine, perfectly, no problem. Now, um, if, if meron tayong mga questions, please let us know. Lagay sa comments. Um, you want to inquire about the gun, message our page. Or uh, contact our official numbers. And maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Have a good day and see you sa next video.